Alrighty, gang. Uh, it's like 5.02 where I live. I completely missed the Smash Bros. presentation because I was sleeping. Um, but you know what? It's for the best because now I can just start uh, the video on YouTube. And here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> We're going. It's happening right now. Turn that down a bit. This way. Big brother? They're Big adding this character. He isn't yourself. even released yet. I'm so sorry, everyone. I feel like I have no choice but to... <laughs> okay. Cool. Join smash. Corin chooses to smash. What are you doing? Yeah, Corin. Sorry, big brother. I've made my decision. How could you? You're giving up on us and battling completely unknown opponents. They look tough. Not a problem for my big brother. Good old Cloud. The Auto Blade is taking on a form I've never seen. Oh, that looks painful. He's using Dragon Fang, the power of the first dragon. You know, this would be a lot really cooler if I actually knew any of this. Are those warriors of the Outrealms? Ha, nice. Not to worry. Cool. I mean, I don't know if Fates is released in Japan yet. I think it might be. So the hype for them is probably a lot realer than for me. But of course, they have the female avatar as well. Big brother is now big sister. Even better. Even better. I've decided. My path is to take on the legendary heroes of Smash. That's a cool Smash. I love the cinematic ones. The Chainsaw Blade is pretty cool as well. <laughs> cool. I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Hi. Sora Limited, the director of Super Smash Brothers. Thank you for waiting. This will be the last video presentation of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. I hope you'll enjoy this finale. The main character from Fire Emblem Fates, Corrin, will be joining the fight. As we developed new fighters, we thought to include someone from this upcoming game. That's how we decided to begin production on Corrin. Okay. It's been a while since the new Fire Emblem title launched in Japan, but we're now just a couple months away from launching it in the rest of yeah, the world. Yeah, so it has been so released So you'll get a chance Japan, to become so. familiar with Corin before you play the game. As with Wii Fit Trainer and Robin, you can choose to play as a male or female version of Corin. Both perform exactly the same, so it's all up to personal preference. You may notice the sword in Corin's hand. It's the final form of the weapon Yato, called Omega Yato. However, that is not his primary way of fighting. Corin has the blood of a dragon in his veins, and this okay. lets him transform. This ability allows him to pull off attacks that no other fighter can. So does that mean he's a descendant of Robin then? He's capable of changing entirely into a dragon, but some of his moves transform only some parts of his body. His side smash attack has tremendous reach. Whoa! The tip of this attack is especially powerful, so consider how far you are from your opponent when you use it. That's insane. When using back air attacks, Corin briefly sprouts wings. He moves forward when his wings appear, which may just give you the extra boost you need when recovering. After activating a dragon attack, his head changes in appearance. Corin's standard special can be charged up by pressing and holding the B button. 
the Dragon Fang Shot. If you land it, your opponent will be paralyzed for a okay. bit. After firing, the transformed hand can also bite a nearby opponent. This follow-up attack can also be charged by holding the B button. This combo deals a lot of damage and can really launch a foe. Corrin's side special is a jump followed by a low thrust to the side, the Dragon Lunge. But this is not just a simple thrust. If you can stick your weapon in the ground successfully, you can remain hanging where you are. Ah, cool. You can even pin your foe in place with this move. Oh! After pinning them, you can use a front kick, back kick, jump, or cancel. Pin your opponent, then decide what to do based on the situation. That's The mean. up special puts Corrin's wings to work. Dragon Ascent. At full wingspan, Corrin has a wide attack range. You can control the angle for a wider attack too. Use it wisely. Cool. Corrin's down special attack is Counter Surge. I mean, it has to be a counter. It's a counter fire move character. familiar to fans of the Fire Emblem fighters. One big difference is a visual one the Dragon Transformation. Look carefully, and you can see that the opponent's attack doesn't reach you. Other differences the include being able to launch opponents upward and attack left ah. and right equally. Corrin's final smash is Torrential Roar. You can pull in several nearby opponents with a whirl of water and then finish them off all at once. That's pretty chill. There is no exclusive stage for this new fighter. What about new music then, you say? Yes, if you purchase Corrin for the Wii U version, you can get two additional music tracks for free. Cool. The first one is the Fire Emblem Fates theme song, Lost in Thoughts All Alone. It includes vocals. That's nifty. The other is a remixed version of the same song we played in the new Challenger video earlier. Both songs will be Go added to the existing Fire, Fire Emblem stages, so you can adjust the odds of them playing in my music. In the Nintendo 3DS version, as a special bonus, we added trophies of Ryoma and Xander from Fire Emblem Fates. They are the cool. eldest brothers from the Hoshido and Nor kingdoms, respectively. Korin's new Challenger illustration was created by Yusuke Kozaki, who is taking care of character designs for Fire Emblem Fates. This is his second Challenger illustration. His first was for Robin. Please check it out on the official website. Cool. Very nice. We're targeting a February 2016 release for Corrin. I can dig it. We will announce the exact date later on the official website. Cloud, cool. From the Final Fantasy series, Cloud Strife will soon join the battle. Let's get these details. Adding this character seemed all but impossible, but we made it happen. We have a lot of requests for Final Fantasy characters to join Smash Brothers, but of all of them, Cloud has been requested the most. Makes Cloud sense. will be available to download as a Super Smash Brothers fighter soon. I have some information to share about him as well. As usual, Cloud deftly handles a buster sword as big as his body, but we've weaved in some unique moves and elements too. His side smash will unleash a high speed three hit chain attack. Cool. Watch his sword move Kinda at what I speed. That was. The sound effect that plays when he hits is inspired by the original game. And the two types of costumes include the original from Final Fantasy VII and one from Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. The Advent Children costume oh, has a version that. with the sleeve covering the Geo Stigma on his left arm and a version without. Such detail. Very nice. I'll probably play without the. An especially sleeve. unique feature to this fighter is his limit break. A limit gauge will fill up as you receive damage or attack opponents. Yep. It's similar to Little Mac's KO gauge, but it isn't normally visible. However, you can charge up the limit gauge with Cloud's down special attack while checking in on this meter. Called it. When the gauge is maxed out, his limit break will be activated. This will surround Cloud in a blue aura, 
slightly increasing his stats. And, for one use only, each of his special attacks will be replaced with Limit Break versions. Cloud's standard special is Blade Beam. Oh. This is a wave bullet that, that been, moves uh, along the ground, special. and it has a wide attack range. You can use it in the air as well, but it's more powerful on the ground. The Limit Break version of this special attack leads to a combo hit and a stronger launch. His side special is Cross Slash. It's Cloud's specialized sword move. By hmm. pressing the button three times when hitting an opponent, you can complete the Japanese word Kyo. Very it cool. has high attack power, but if the opponent uses their shield, it will create an opening for them to attack just before you finish the combo. Be careful. In addition to the damage, the Limit Break version has more launch power. I could tell from the... <laughs> the up special is Climb Hazard. Strike the Some opponent, ascend, hazard, then whatever. press the button again to fall and strike at high speed. When recovering, make sure not to press the button a second time. Okay. The Limit Break version climbs much higher. The extra height is especially useful when recovering rather than attacking. Sometimes you'll want to save the Limit Break for later, but get launched before you can actually use it. Often you end up having no choice but to use Limit Break to recover. That's the down special recovery. is Limit Charge. With this move, you can manually charge the Limit Gauge. However, when the Limit Gauge is fully charged, the down special becomes a completely different move called Finishing Touch. Ooh. This move only causes 1% damage, but its launch power is extremely strong. Jesus Fighters who've accumulated a certain amount of damage better watch out. And of course, his final smash is Omni Slash. Perform a special combo attack on the opponent. He didn't even crush them hit completely Kirby. with this move. Cloud had to have this move, am I right? Here's the new stage, Midgar. It's a location you'll recognize from early on in Final Fantasy VII. Both the Mako Reactor and the Shinra building can be seen here. It definitely has that cyberpunk feel. Here, Summon Materia will appear, and the fighter who acquires it will be able to use Summons. Most of these summoned monsters will do something that changes the terrain, rather than directly attacking players. Ifrit Ifrit creates an inferno that moves the terrain itself. When you touch the fire, you will be damaged. Stay alert and use strategic elements of the stage to your advantage. Ramu. <laughs> Ramu manipulates so cool floating terrain by attacking with lightning. You can pass through platforms that are charged with electricity, but you'll take damage. Only the fighter who summoned him will remain unharmed. Odin. Odin, man! Odin can cut the stage in half with a single slice. You can avoid this attack, but if you don't, Expect to be instantly KO'd. So the split in the stage is a good place to perform a meteor smash. Make sure you don't get caught in the middle when the stage comes back together. Dead Leviathan. Leviathan. Leviathan floods the stage with water, which flows from right to left. The difference between Midgar and other stages with rapid currents is that if you're swept away by water, the fighter who summoned Leviathan will get points. Hmm. Bahamut Zero. From high above, Bahamut Zero fires a devastating attack. It's an area of effect attack, and the flare will continue for a while, so the fighter who summoned him should try to force opponents into the blast. Whoever collected the summon materia will get a point for any fighters launched to their doom by summons. Okay, I Try see. Try to has get to as much summon materia as you can. You collect it. We created Cloud and the Midgar stage for the Nintendo 3DS version as well. I imagine of course, so. You can summon in that version too. Cloud's new challenger artwork was created by Tetsuya Nomura himself. I really appreciate that Mr. Nomura, who did the original design, also created the illustrations this time. 
It's really rare to see Nintendo characters in this style, and it's groundbreaking that a fight between Link and Cloud has been officially drawn. Wow. Cloud will become available for purchase yes! within hours of this presentation. Once distribution has begun, you may experience some wait times due to high server demand. Gonna have to Please bear with us. Because I have work in the price for Cloud and the Midgar stage is shown an here. Hour. I hope you'll enjoy playing as Cloud, who miraculously joined the fight from Final Fantasy. Wow. At the same time as Cloud, we will release a Chocobo hat for Mii Fighters. You can use it to dress up your Mii Fighter. And thanks to our relationship with Square Enix, we will release another Mii Fighter costume. From Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, we're adding a Geno Mii Fighter outfit. Like the Mii Gunner, Geno shoots from a gun on his arm, so it's a natural fit. Since this is our last presentation, here are the final Mii Fighter costumes. You know? Wow! I know people have been clamoring for him for fucking ever, but... That's impressive. That's extraordinarily impressive. Good job, Square Enix and Nintendo. Bionic armor, that's really cool looking. Oh, okay, this guy. Nice. Nice. The Tower of Durga. Available for February 2016. I don't know who that is. Nice. Ha 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 ha. And Knuckles. And that's all? Alright. Very cool. <laughs> that Gino, though. By the way, Mii fighters we showed in the past sometimes look like they have similar faces to the original characters in the intro videos and screenshots. On the official website, we have QR code patterns for some of these characters. If you download the Mii characters through these, you can quickly create pretty solid look-alike fighters. So please use them if you're interested. Awesome. It's been almost one year since we started creating additional downloadable fighters. Nice However, this is finally the climax. All right. Here's our last fighter announcement trailer. Has to be the... Please take a look the, uh, at the Smash final new winner. challenger in Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. What do you got for me? You got Snake? We're getting Snake back? Getting the Ice Climbers? Give me the Ice Climbers. Don't get careless, Pit. A challenger approaches. Huh? Oh, another angel. Must have missed one. Let's dance, boy. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Who is that, Lady Palatina? It's an Umbra Witch. I thought they were extinct. Cheeky. Especially coming from an endangered species. Watch out for Madonna the Butterfly in the shadow! She's got the guns! A pursuing attack? I like it when you play hard to get. The Wicked Weaves attack summoned the limbs of demons. 
Oh yeah! Gotcha. Ha! <laughs> oh, witch time! It's witch time. Witches can control time itself. That looks like a counter attack. Oh no, that's just. That's not right. <laughs> if you need to learn how to talk to a lady, yes! ask your mom. So we've got Panda one. We've got Panda one and two outfits. That's badass. <gasps> it's the prologue level. Fortitudo. Don't tell me you're done already. She's so tough. She, she even win. loses the clothing. Time for the best part. Smashing. <laughs> Enough talk, goddess. Don't mess with a witch. <laughs> The Umbra Witch who hunts angels, Bayonetta. She's finally joining the battle. We've been asking for your opinion on the Super Smash Bros. fighter ballot, and Bayonetta was the number one choice in Europe. In North America, she was among the top five. I want to know who the number one in, in the this US was, though. This ranking includes even fighters from previous games in the series. Among the negotiable and realizable characters, Bayonetta was the overall number one choice Among worldwide. realizable characters. Fair enough. In Super Smash Brothers, Bayonetta is a fighter with many characteristics <laughs> Look at glasses based on the original wearing. games. The more you learn to control her, the more you can feel that she moves like the character in the original <laughs> games. First of all, she is a combo fighter. And not just weak attacks. Even her strong side attacks, front air attacks, and so on can land multiple hits. However, her combos are a bit slow to start. This is also similar to the original games. Each special move can strike multiple times. This is going to so be fun be training to this to me, though. Very elegant aerial combo attacks, Bayonetta style. After an attack, press and hold the button to continue attacking with her guns. This is programmed into almost all of Bayonetta's moves, so you can fire even in the middle of combo attacks. Warren has to see However, this. However, the shots themselves won't slow enemies down, so you have to watch out for counterattacks. Bayonetta is equipped with four guns, one on each of her hands and feet, so she can shoot whether she's punching or kicking. It's possible to inflict additional damage to opponents at a distance, or steal points by hitting a fighter who's about to be knocked off the stage. The guns from Bayonetta 2 are called Love is Blue, and the guns from the original Bayonetta are called Scarborough Fair. All four guns in each set have different names. Wicked Weaves! Here's her wicked weaves. She loses the clothing. Attack, she uses her hair as Obviously a not quite as much in her original game. Demon, but Madama Butterfly. Still. It's her smash attack and it's huge by any measure. When used at the edge of a stage, her down smash attack is massively effective. <laughs> this is Bayonetta's signature move, Witch Time. It reacts to the opponent's move in a flash and slows down time. Nice. This is her down special attack, of course. and it's activated like a counter attack. While your opponent is moving slowly, strike back. We can't make the entire game slow down every time she uses witch time, so instead, it only slows down the opponent you're countering. Okay, fair enough. The length of slowdown time is determined by several factors. Look at that outfit! The higher the opponent's accumulated damage, the longer the effect. But if you use it repeatedly, its effect will be shorter. When Witch Time is triggered late, Bat Within will be activated instead, reducing damage dealt by your opponent. Nice! Bat Within protects Bayonetta even when her dodge move is about to fail. Many of her signature visual effects appear as well, adding a bit of flashiness to brawls. Nice. When she lands, butterflies appear. When she's damaged, roses fall. 
and aerial jumps show off her butterfly, butterfly wings. wings. During jumps and gunshots, unique magic circle effects turn up too. And in the Wii U version, Bayonetta's shadow is in the shape of Madama Butterfly. Taunt. Also, there's an extremely long taunt. You can cancel it in the middle too, so you can dance if you want to. <laughs> Bayonetta has two costumes. There's the blue costume from Bayonetta 2, featuring her shorter hair, and the A Witch With No Memories costume from the original Bayonetta. There's also a color variation inspired by Jean. Bayonetta's oh, standard yeah. special is Bullet Climax. She can shoot with her hands or her feet. The guns always shoot slightly upward, but you can fire continuously. How do you decide which one to use? Also, if you press and hold the button, this attack will charge up. If used on the ground, her side special is Heel Slide. By holding the button, you can add cool. a kick at the end. This way, you can make a combo as well. Nice. However, if you use it in the air, her side special is Afterburner Kick instead. This is the first time ever that the name of the move changes depending on where you use it. If you hit your opponent in the air with Afterburner Kick, you can then strike with another one. Wow! Also, if you use the afterburner kick after pressing down, then you can angle it diagonally downward. Let's just say, if you often use Ryu's traditional Hadouken command, it should be easy to do. This can also be used as a starting point of a combo. Her up special is called Witch Twist. This special attack takes you skyward, but you can move immediately after you've activated it, and you can use it once again mid-jump. What? If you keep holding the button, you can shoot, too. Try holding the button to rack up more damage. When recovering, use Witch Twist, then jump, and Witch Twist again on top of that. You can even add in airborne combos so much jumping. and an afterburner kick after using Witch Twist, too. However, the more moves you add, the larger the opening you'll leave when you finally land, huh. so be careful. Fierce combos like this are more than possible. If you're on the receiving end, try to fend them off. That's ridiculous! Her final smash is Infernal Climax. The way this move activates is also very unique. First, Witch Time goes into effect and the entire screen slows down. The Climax gauge will be displayed, which means it's time to damage opponents to fill up the gauge. When the Climax gauge is full, you'll summon the infernal demon, Gamora, who will lunge for any opponents you attack while maxing out the gauge. Once Gamora has finished chewing, if the opponent's accumulated damage is over 100%, they'll be finished immediately. Whoa. So it works like a danger zone. You can also throw in multiple opponents at once, so please try it out. Insane. Sanity. There's also a Bayonetta stage, Umbra Clock Tower. We've recreated this extremely memorable and iconic opening scene from the original Bayonetta, oh, the, the Falling angel, Clock Tower. Man. Basically, it's a flat platform, but moving platforms run right Loving next the to Bayo it, just to mix too. things up. If you want to win, utilize the terrain well. She was in my number two match, pick, I think, once you in enter my the alternate world, top ten Purgatorio, characters you'll see an army of angels, and once you pass it, you won't see them anymore. Angels like Inspired and Fortitudo have guest appearances as well. For the Wii U version, we picked some memorable songs from both the original and Bayonetta 2. There are also songs arranged specifically for Super Smash Brothers. We hope you enjoy them. That's... In addition to Bayonetta, we Look created Jean Rodon, and Cereza trophies as well. John if Rodon. you purchase and download Bayonetta in Super Cereza. Smash Brothers, you'll get them all. Bayonetta's new challenger illustration was created by Bayonetta development team member Eiji Funahashi. It's an Look impressive work showcasing the Dad ass, light and dark, so take some time to soak in all the details on the official website. Bayonetta's inclusion is another dream come true type of situation. You damn right more it is. Time, so please be patient until she is released. 
Just like Corin, we're targeting a February 2016 release for Bayonetta and the Umbra Clock Tower stage. Once it's finalized, we, we will said it wasn't the possible. Exact release date and I, on the in one of our website. videos. And now we have some news about Amiibo. Amiibo of Ryu, Roy, and Rob, with his Famicom colors, will be released on March 18th, 2016. Fuck yeah. Please stay tuned for retailer and pre-order information. Cool. That's my birthday present and to me. And we can also confirm Amiibo production for the three I mean, that, that was obvious. Today. Cloud, Corin, You're not gonna Bayonetta. not do Amiibo Each for these of them characters. Will have Amiibo figures. Their release dates are still to be determined. Please wait for further information. Each of the newly announced fighters, Corin, Cloud, and Bayonetta, have specific characteristics and skills. Their battle styles ha. are all unique as well, so we hope you enjoy playing wow. as them and fighting against them. It's been over a year since we finished development of the original game. We've continued to develop new fighters and stages, and it's created a huge volume of content. The total number of fighters is 58. Counting the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U versions together, the total number of stages is 84. And counting the male and female versions together, the total number of Mii Fighter costumes is 99. There are 97 hats. The total number of trophies is 743 for Wii U and 707 for Nintendo 3DS. The total number of music tracks, such as stage music, is 507, victory jingles and the like aside. I believe these are record high numbers for a competitive action game. In terms of sales, it's certainly best to create downloadable content while developing the original game, then release them close to the game's launch. But for this specific title, we created downloadable content from scratch after finishing the original game's development. Each piece of content requires intense work. Without your support, we couldn't have made it. Thank you so much. Seven downloadable characters. In Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, a variety of fighters have appeared, making possible certain matchups we never would have imagined. We hope all of these characters right, will continue right. to make great appearances in many titles to characters. come. Back, I greatly appreciate the developers of each game featured and the fans. When Smash 5 comes out on the NX, we better that, see all these characters thank you. again. Thank you so much, Sakurai. Oh, sweet, a little closing thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, these characters look ready to go. There's Cloud's trophy way back in the back. There's... Damn, that a baby? I don't know. on right now. Bayonetta and Smash, guys. I, I gotta s hold on just a second. While we're on YouTube, we're gonna go to my channel really quick, and I'm going to look at what my uh, number two... I'm finding out where the hell Bayonetta was on my pick list. Beautiful Joe, number one. Yeah, she was number two. That's... I'm happy. I am extraordinarily happy. I could only have been happier if I got Beautiful Joe. But I will take Bayonetta. That's three Capcom characters, guys. Three. Nintendo and Capcom are bedmates. <sighs> 
and Gino's a me fighter costume and Cloud is coming to Smash and we got um Corin from the new Fire Emblem game that hasn't even been released in America yet so all the Japanese fanboys are freaking out considerably more than the American ones. I don't know about the rest of the world. I don't know when it comes out there. Um, I guess all I can do is wait for February now, huh? That's all I can do. And download Cloud when he comes out later today. Which is gonna be like tomorrow or something. All right, gang. Well, it's uh, it's 540 where I live now. I have work at 630 in the PMs. Um, this video will be up tomorrow uh, when I get home from work and I'm, and I'm able to put it together. So, until the next Great Amiibo Tournament, which I'm putting together right now. Clutch and I have recorded it. I'm just putting it all together, trying to make sure that every single fight gets put in... In the YouTube videos, unlike the last time when I had to re-upload two whole videos because I forgot a fight uh, or two. But yeah, um, thanks for watching this reaction video. It wasn't as good as the cloud reaction video, I, I know that. But, Bayonetta, guys. You can't really top Cloud either, I think. That's that's just out of the blue. <sighs> See ya. Yeah.